Hey there, welcome back. You know, one of the things I've been talking about on here recently is how I've been using Obsidian to take notes, to capture my notes and organize my notes and, and kind of all those things combined. Uh, one of the things that I've struggled with with any note-taking app, Obsidian included, is how do you organize notes? And I know that there's different schools of thought here. Some people uh, create folder structures and they're very rigid with those folder structures. Other people say you shouldn't use any folders. Uh, just throw all of your notes into one big pile and then search for them. And maybe use tags to help the search find the notes that you're looking for. And then of course, there's all sorts of methodologies in between those two. I have always liked the folder structure more myself. I feel like maybe having that control over it makes it seem like I'm a little more organized. Although there was a time, a long time ago, that I used Simple Note. I don't know if you're familiar with Simple Note. I think it's still around. Uh, I think it was bought by Automatic or whatever the company is that owns WordPress. They're the ones that run Simple Note now. But with Simple Note, I never used folders. Uh, I just put all the notes, I just you know created notes and then searched for, especially the note title. And I think I did use some like smart note titles in order to help me find certain things. Like for example, I'm not sure that I used daily notes back then, but if I had daily notes, maybe I called it daily underscore the date. And so you could just search for daily and it would pop right up. And so I liked that. And the reason why is because it made creating notes so easy, right? Like you didn't have to worry about where to put it. And that's always the argument against folders is maybe you spend more time trying to figure out where you should put this note and what if it belongs in two different folders, then what do you do? And that's kind of a barrier to creating a note, which you don't necessarily want. Um, you want your note taking to be barrier free because you may want to take rapid notes. Uh, when something comes up, you want to be able to take a note quickly. So I understand why people don't want any sort of structure in their notes. But I also think that having no structure leads to a bit of chaos. And I know that there's a group of people that use Obsidian that say that's what it's about, building this kind of chaos and then linking the notes so that there's not even maybe tag structure, but more of a, a note linking organization. And they always point to Wikipedia as kind of that public example. If you go to Wikipedia, you might search for a certain topic and then you'll click a link and click another link and pretty soon you know you're down a rabbit hole, clicking all these different links, taking you to different articles. So again, that's kind of the public example of organization by note linking. Now recently I've been trying hard to get all of my notes in Obsidian and kind of get my vault set up in a certain way that made sense to me. And for a while I was using folders until bases came out. And I realized once bases came out that maybe I could have the best of both worlds. Maybe I could have the barrier free entry of just creating a note right away and worrying about organization later, but also I could have structure. And so what I'd like to do in this video is just kind of show you how I'm using bases, uh, the new functionality in Obsidian to organize my notes. Now, I know that that's probably not the most um, common use of bases, but for me, it made a lot of sense to just use it as an organization tool. So let's jump into Obsidian and I'll kind of show you what I mean. All right, so I'm pulling up my example vault here, which is called Stardust. So I only have two notes in here, which is welcome and new note. And if you remember, I shut off almost everything on this Obsidian vault in my last video. So it's pretty clean. There's not a lot of plugins turned on in here. In fact, let's go into settings now to turn on bases. So bases is a core plugin. So I'll head to core plugins. And if you looked, we'll just take a glance down here. Almost everything is turned off except for file recovery and files. I think those are the only two core plugins. Oh, search as well. So we're gonna go back up here and flip on bases. This allows you to create custom views that let you edit, sort, and filter files using their properties. So you'll notice that there's a new icon that showed up over here on the left side. I'm gonna exit out of this and just go ahead and click this. This is going to create a new base, which all a base is, is just a view of all of your notes. And you can filter which notes you wanna see 
and you can set up different views, which have different filters and so forth, but we'll get into all that in just a minute. So right now, what we're seeing is just a list of all of my notes, including this untitled base. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. So base. So you'll see it over here, it's base.base. .base. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna see more information on my notes in my base. So in order to do that, I come over here to properties, and this is the different information that I can see for each note in my base. So some of the things that I like to see is the modified time and also the created time. And obviously that's not just time, it's the date and timestamp. So now I can see when the notes were created and when they were last modified. So both welcome and new note were created back in August, whereas my base note is created today, September 16th. Now let me go back up to properties and just take a second look at that. So you can also see a lot of other things just right out of the gate. I mean, you can see the folder that a note is in, uh, you can see the file path. One useful thing is file links. So if your file has any links in here, uh, you'll see it there. So welcome has create a link as a link. Um, but in any case, we can also add to this list. So even though this is what's offered out of the gate, we can add to this. And the way we do that is we add properties to a note. So I'm gonna go into my new note and I'm just gonna hit enter a couple times, drop down that text. And now I'm gonna go back up to the very first line and type in three dashes and that brings up properties. Now you'll see out of the gate here, we have three properties that are um, offered by Obsidian and they're systematically included. Uh, and that's aliases, CSS classes, and tags. For me, I don't use a, uh, a lot of CSS in my Obsidian. Um, at least not now I don't, maybe I will in the future. Aliases, from what I understand, is different names for your note. So if you have a note and you gave it a title, but maybe it made sense to have a different title as well or something else that you might search for, you would give it an alias. And then tags, I think is pretty self-explanatory. But the cool thing about this is that you can add any properties that you want. And so one of the things that I added was a property called note type. So when you're adding a new property, you can also specify the property type. And here are the options. It can be a checkbox, a date, a date and time, list, number, or text. And it's text by default. So my note type, I created as a list. So I'm just gonna give a basic example here. Maybe I have different notes for work and for personal. And so for note type, this one might be uh, work. And let me go over to welcome and drop this content down, hit my three dashes. Now when the properties come up, you'll see that note type is one of the options. And the list pops up here, I can select work, but I'm actually gonna type in a new option, which is personal. All right, so now, I've updated both of those notes, which is all the notes in my vault right now. Uh, I'm gonna go back up to my base and go over to the properties. And you'll see down at the very bottom now is note type. So I can select that. And now note type shows up in my base. And so I can quickly see which notes are work and which notes are personal. All right, so give me just a minute. Let me go create a couple more notes. That way we have kind of more to see in the base. So I'll be right back. All right, so if you saw in that short sped up clip, uh, when I was creating the notes, I was just creating them all in my vault. So I don't have any folder structure. I'm just hitting the control N to create a new note, creates it right in my vault. You can see them all over here on the left side. Looks like they're in alphabetical order right now, but there's no organization over there right now. But what I did do is I gave each note a note type. So each note is either work or it's personal. So now let me go back up to my base and you'll see all my notes in here now. 
But the cool thing is, is over here on the right side is my note type. So it's clearly visible whether each one is personal or work. Now I might just drag this note type over to the left uh, because it's more important to me than some of that other information. All right, so this is pretty cool. I can see all of my notes and quickly see whether they're work or personal. And I could even sort on that, right? If I wanted to quickly sort, I could right click, sort, and I got all my personal together, all my work together. But let me show you where Basis gets really cool in organizing your notes. So up here in the upper left where it says table, this is my view right now. And I can rename this table. I can re rename this all notes because that's what it is. So now this view is called all notes. Now, if I click over here again, you'll notice there's add view. So I can add an additional view. Let me go ahead and do that. And let's call this one personal. So you can kind of guess what it's going to be. I want it to be a list of all of my personal notes. I'm just gonna go ahead and click out of it. You'll see it updates and it took away all of the columns that I had set up because that was for the all notes view. So if I switch back to all notes view, all those columns are still there just the way I had them. But if I go to my new view personal, well, it's just the list of notes again. And if I wanna add columns, I come back up here to the properties. And so for right now, I'm just gonna add my note type property. All right, so how can I get this to only show my personal notes? That's where the filter comes in. So again, up here in the upper right, there's a filter option. And this is very powerful. You'll notice that there's two sections. There's all views and there's this view. So in all views, you can filter everything in this particular base. So if for some reason you didn't want to have all of your notes in your base, you could filter some of those notes out. I'm not using that a whole lot, although I do use it, and maybe that's a separate video. But for this video, I'm going to go to this view because I just want to filter for this view. So here it says all of the following are true and here's my list of criteria. And I could switch this, right? So I could say any of the following are true, none of the following are true, but let me stick with all of the following are true. That's generally what you want. And I wanna say where, again, this is the list of properties. So if I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see note type is exactly, and here I'll select personal. And right away it filters, showing me what it's going to look like. And so now if I click out of this, now I have my list of only personal notes. That's pretty cool in my opinion. So um, let me go ahead and create another view for work. Come up here, add view, call it work, add property, note type, change the filter, for this view only, where note type equals work. All right, so this is where I think it's pretty cool. I have three views now, all notes, personal, and work, and I can quickly switch between the three, but also I can quickly create notes on the fly. I just hit Control N, create a new note. Um, let's say this is weekend tasks. I hit my three dashes, brings up properties, select note type, personal, Oops, personal. Come down here, here's my weekend tasks. Now if I go back to my base, hit personal, that note, weekend tasks, is automatically there. So it does the organization for me while I'm creating the note. Now, you may have noticed that I did struggle a bit there. Um, it wasn't that seamless because I had to hit my three dashes, I had to find my note type property, and then fill it out. So another thing that I've done to make it more seamless is set up templates. Now templates is another thing that I think I shut off on my last video. So let's go turn on templates in the plugins. Go to settings, core plugins, scroll down to templates, and let's hit this options. So here you can select template folder location. That's what I like to do. Before I do that, I need to go create that folder. So let me exit out of this, come up to the create new folder icon, call it templates, go back into settings, 
And now I can select this templates folder. So that's where all my templates are going to be. Um, that's all I need. So now let's create a new template. So within this folder now I'm going to create a new note. And I'm going to call this personal template. Hit my three dashes. Note type personal. And the other thing I like to do is hit three more dashes under this, which creates a horizontal rule. And then my content starts after that horizontal rule. It just kind of separates. It looks a little nicer in my opinion. Um, so anyways, now when I hit control N to create a new note, I can say, okay, this is next weekend's tasks. I tap down and this time I hit alt T. Oh wait, I forgot. There's one other thing we need to turn on. Let's go back into settings and let's go up to hotkeys and we can search for template. So for insert template, hit the plus and I like mine to be alt T. And now you can just exit out of this. So now put your cursor back on the first line, hit alt T now. It brings up your list of templates. I only have one personal template. I select that one. It already does everything for me, and now I can quickly just add my notes, right? Okay, so we set up our template for personal. Let's go set up our template for work. So come up here to templates, right click, hit new note, work template. Oops. I wanna select the note type, work. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a new work note. Control N, new work note, Alt T, work template. Here we go. And that's pretty seamless in my opinion. It uh, doesn't get a whole lot more simpler than that. And again, if we go back to our base, all of these notes are automatically in there. You can see new work note has the work note type assigned. Uh, next weekend's tasks has the personal note type assigned. If we change our view from all notes to personal, all of the personal notes are in there. If we switch it to work, all of the work notes are in there. So that's kind of a real basic overview of how I'm using bases and templates to not only organize my notes, but also at the same time be able to create notes on the fly quickly and then have it almost organized by itself because I have my bases set up in a certain way. So that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments, do you use bases? And do you use it in a similar fashion as this? Do you have different views that you look at different notes? Let me know in the comments. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.